Well, one of um, my most cherished memories about the centennial is the, uh, the dawn of the day of the centennial, uh, meeting out at the uh, Centennial Trail um, to watch the sunrise on a new century of the National Wildlife Refuge System. And uh, I was very honored to, um, to share that with uh, our late uh, director, Sam Hamilton, who was our regional director at that time. That was uh, uh, a very special occasion to stand uh, there on the boardwalk at the observation tower looking out at Pelican Island as the sun rose and, and um, uh, thinking about what the next century is, is going to uh, hold for the refuge system and wildlife conservation in general. The refuge system as a general concept was based on the idea of acquiring land uh, representing habitat for creatures and where necessary making adjustments in it to improvement to improve it and make it uh, suitable for more more suitable for the species in question. M magnificent changes have taken place that uh, involve the very intricate inter interrelation of the Fish and Wildlife Service and the state agencies and other federal agencies, the private sector landowners, to create entities, uh, blocks of habitat that are remarkable both in their size and in their value, and particularly because without that approach it could never have happened. I've seen a complete change in public use policy and authorization. At one time, the public was, you know, you cannot enter this under any reasons except by special authorization. So uh, the boundary signs used to state that very clearly. And uh, now it's uh, uh, compatible uses are, are permitted now. In fact, uh, the public is encouraged to use National Wildlife Service. Come see. Non-consumptive uses, please do so. Consumptive uses when it's in accordance with, with uh, the hunting programs and so forth, absolutely. So, so we've had a complete change in attitudes in that. Public use, um, rafting on the rivers. There was none of, no rafting at all when, when I became manager. And uh, almost no uh, canoeing on the South River. So that guided recreational parties, I think, was the biggest change. We're getting a lot of good public use on an awful lot of our refuges, and the public is coming and are much more appreciative of the opportunities to see things. And, and especially when you tell them a little story about it, make it understandable for them. And I'm glad to see good facilities being built for the public. They are our future. It's a um, refuge manager or any position in a refuge is, a, in my view, an, a noble occupation. And uh, <clears throat> doing the work is uh, a large reward. The centennial was really a look back and looking at uh, how we came to be uh, from very humble beginnings. Um, but at that moment, it was also an opportunity to think ahead, and that's what this vision conference is all about, thinking ahead about you know, the next century and, and uh, what we can achieve in wildlife conservation for the Fish and Wildlife Service.